Hello Scorpio, I'm here to provide your reading for July 2019. So this is going to apply to your sun, moon, or rising. Um, if this reading does not resonate for you, I would suggest that you go over to my other readings and see how it may resonate. But of course, you have to have some insight um, in regards to what zodiac influences you have in your birth chart okay um, that way it'll help you um, better understand of course uh, what readings may resonate so let's get started okay so um so scorpio for the month of july okay um so some of you are going to be homesick i'm feeling like some of you are homesick um You could be traveling a lot, doing a lot of traveling, okay? So for some of you, you're homesick. Um, the matters of the home is going to be highlighted for you in the month of July um, in regards to partnerships, so your relationships, because the Four of Wands is here. Four of Wands talks about marriage and household, you know, celebration, things like that. But I see that um, there's going to be some conflict within the home. Um, it could be conflict within yourself, which causes conflict within the home, or it could be your partner that's having this conflict within themselves and therefore causes, um, you know, some conflict within the home. So I see that you're definitely going to be um, trying to strategize, trying to figure out ways to return the harmony back into the home because I see here the um, temperance card is here. So you're going to be um, thinking about ways to bring back the harmony within the home and this could be your partner trying to figure out a way or both of you are going to be working on trying to um, provide a remedy for whatever's going on within the home, within your relationship, okay? Also, Scorpio, um, some of you could have a Sagittarius on your mind, okay? You could be thinking about a Sagittarius and trying to figure out ways um, to um, maybe bring you guys closer together, okay? Um, or you could be trying to... Um, Resolve an issue with the Sagittarius, okay, or another fire sign person, Leo, Sagittarius, uh, or Aries, okay. Um, or you could have this in your chart, fire in your chart, okay, or Sagittarius in your chart. So what else am I seeing here? So um, like I said before, I do see some traveling coming up for you guys. Um, if it's not you, it could be a fire sign person that you're with. They are doing some traveling and therefore um, it's making you feel um, somewhat insecure, um, somewhat defensive. Um, because we have the five of swords here and the five of swords is the, at the heart of the reading. So this tells me that there is some conflict. You could be dealing with a Venus and Aquarius, uh, person, or you could have this in a chart, but this energy is just, um, kind of confrontational. I'm also feeling that there is some boundaries that's being put up now. There's walls that are being put up, um, and the walls that are being put up, it could be from you or from the person that you're dealing with. Um, also, I'm, I'm hearing that you, if you are doing some traveling, um, you know, you could face some, you know, conflict with others, okay? So if you're traveling out of town for work or whatever the case may be, um, there will be some conflict with others, but it's really important that you keep your cool and keep your focus. Um, Establish healthy boundaries, of course, you know, but try your best not to get caught up in the um, back and forth with others. Also, this could represent that you may have a mentality that others are out to get you. Uh, there's something going on within the mind that makes you feel as though um, like somewhat defeated as well or just um, hurt. There's something going on mentally that's not for your highest good. So it's important that you tap into this Queen of Swords energy and um, focus on clarity. Uh, do things one at a time. Uh, focus on being more logical instead of, um, you know, being at odds, okay, with yourself or others. Um, you know, this could also represent an air sign person, uh, Gemini, Libra, or 
Aquarius, okay, that you could be dealing with or you could have this in your chart. But it's really important that you keep the energy moving. You keep your um, sights set high. Um, and do your best also for some of you, um, not all of you, uh, try not to have any reckless behaviors. You know, um, some of you could be daredevils, just extremists, you know, so just be really careful, okay? Um, what else am I seeing here? Um, yeah, so I definitely see that a relationship is definitely going to be highlighted for you guys in July. Um, you could be dealing with another water sign person, or you could be dealing with the Leo. Um, the water sign, uh, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio, of course, or someone with Venus and Cancer. I think this is my Venus and Cancer card. Yes, Venus and Cancer. So you could have this, so the person um, you're dealing with could have this. So um, there needs to be, a, there's a desire for a new beginning. Um, there could be, um, there's a lot of passion. There's a lot of passion here, okay? And the passion is like, um, coming off as like anger or frustration so there's a lot of that so uh, energies are really running high when it comes to this uh, connection this relationship so it's really important that you choose your battles um, try your best you know to not um, I don't want to say try your best not to be at odds but try your best to um, not try to win all the time okay um, learn when to back off, you know, if you're going through a difficult situation with your partner, learn when to just take a step back and chill out. It doesn't always have to be who's going to, who's going to, uh, one up the other person. Okay. And this could just, this doesn't have to just be a relationship. It could just be your connections with other people. Okay. Um, I'm also seeing that, you know, going back to establishing some healthy boundaries, um, you know, if you, for some of you uh, Scorpios, you could be leaving home, leaving a foundation, leaving um, leaving your family behind, to, uh, family behind to um, travel for work or whatever the case may be. Uh, do your best to establish some healthy boundaries as well if you're out there. Um, you know, out there in the world, whatever you're doing, you know, try your best to establish some healthy boundaries. Because I could see for some of you, um, it could be that, you know, you you have a problem establishing some healthy boundaries when you're away from home. OK, so you'll know what that means if it resonates with you. OK, um, and so as far as your emotions go, I definitely see that um, you're going to be. Um, on guard, okay, because we have the seven of wands here and um, you're going to be really protective over your emotions. Um, or excuse me, there could be a person, a fire sign person that's very protective or restrictive with their emotions as well, which in returns leave you feeling that way, okay? Um, but for the most part, I do see, you know, that you guys are going to be really protective over your emotions. Um, but be careful because if you are in a relationship with someone, you don't want to give off the mixed signal. Okay. You don't want to give off the mixed signal. I see that for some of you, Scorpio, um, the fact that your walls are up, um, this person's deciding to turn their back towards you. They're deciding to turn their, um, turn their back on you just because they're not wanting to deal with it anymore or it can be the other way around it could be the person that you're dealing with um scorpio um their their walls are up and they're just very um defensive and so therefore you're deciding to turn your back on them and you're and for some of you you're deciding to get attention elsewhere or the person that you're dealing with is decided to get t attention elsewhere since you are so um you know restrictive OK, but as far as your spirit goes, you know, overall in um, July, I really feel like you guys are going to be really grounded for the most part, despite what you have um, gone through. You're going to be very grounded. It also could just represent that um, you're just a fixed sign okay because when i see pentacles it's like solid so you're going to be very fixed for the month of july um 
it's going to be hard to move you, some of you. And when I, what, it, what I mean by that is if something is happening, like there's some chaos or there's imbalances, um, it's going to be hard for you to be affected, okay? And good for you. I mean, you're taking control over your mind, body, and spirit. You're not allowing anybody to move you, okay, to shake your world. For some of you, that might not be the case, okay? You may be very sensitive um, in the month of July, okay, and sensitive to your surroundings and what's going on. So it's encouragement for you to hold your ground, you know, um, stay, remain steady, okay? And some of you could have earth in your chart as well, okay? I'm seeing that, all right? Um, oh, and there's two women here. And it's really strange, too, because in the Capricorn reading, there was um, two kings. And I don't like to bring gender into it, but this could definitely be a same-sex marriage, okay? Or same-sex relationship, okay? Um, in the Capricorn reading, there it was same, it was same sex, but there are men, okay? But it's, it could be a same-sex relationship, Scorpio, that you are in. Okay, um, what else am I seeing here? Yeah, so just really use your logic and, and do your best to stay grounded. Try your best also not to be in that vibration of an eye for an eye or be in a vibration of, you know, where you're constantly, um, your thoughts are, you're thinking sabotaging thoughts, okay? Um, just keep the energy moving, you know. If you come across a situation where, you know, um, there's conflict and there's just drama choose the high road tap into this knight of wands energy and just get the hell out of there just don't don't entertain it okay don't entertain the mess okay because sometimes people want to uh, bring drama okay um, i also see that someone could be trying to mess with um break up your household they could be trying to um bring drama to your household to your relationship so it's really important that you um Watch out for that and stand your ground, okay? Stand your ground. Um, you know, choose balance over the conflict, I'm seeing as well. So choose balance over a conflict, okay? Sometimes we have to debate, sometimes we have to stand our ground, and we have to speak up, okay? And this Five of Swords talks about that. It talks, it talks about, you know, um, standing your ground and standing up for yourself and not letting anybody walk over you, Okay? Uh, so it may, for some of you, be a call for you to tap into that energy, okay? And it's because sometimes we want a certain outcome. We want balance. We have to stand our ground. We have to speak up. But we can speak up in a respectful way. We don't have to um, be disrespectful, okay? Um, what else am I seeing here? Um... But for the most part, Scorpio, I think you have pretty good cards. You know, it's 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 good for the most part. But you know, I feel like the home life, you know, relationship, that that type of foundation, um, is going to be a highlight for you guys. Okay, but I definitely see that you guys are willing to do the work. You know, we have the Temperance card here, and it's all about alchemy. It's about taking the negatives and the positive and trying to make them work. Okay. But I definitely see if you're in a relationship that you guys are going to be trying to work things out, okay? Because we have two cups here, and this is a two of cups. So I see that you guys are going to be um, working some things out, okay? Um, um, Scorpio, also I see here, and I'm hearing that maybe a Sagittarius had left you. And so now you're trying to pick up the pieces because he left with his wand, okay? And so he already took one of these wands, which leaves you with three wands. And so now you have another one, which you're rebuilding. So you're trying to rebuild um, your life again, okay? Your foundation again. So somebody could have left and now you're trying to rebuild. Also, if someone has left, try your best not to be in a very bitter type of energy and it's hard to say that because everybody's situation is different but stand your ground rise above it do not be um consumed um with what has happened you know of course you're going to think about it and it's going to you know bring some you know 
not so nice memories and bring up some horrible thoughts, you know, but you have to choose to move forward, okay? You have to move forward. Put all those swords down and just focus on one. This is your mind, okay? So let's see um, what you need to be aware of going forward, Scorpio. What do you need to be aware of going forward in the month of July 2019? What do you need to be aware of? Okay. Um, and on the bottom of the card, the tower card is here. So number seven. So there's two number sevens here. So yeah, so um, something could have went down in your relationship, you know, in your partnerships. Okay. Partnerships could be careers, whatever. Something went down, something has changed. And so now you're going to have to stand your ground and keep pushing forward. You have to, you have to uh, fight to stay on top, you know. Do what's best for yourself. Okay, so um, we have the star card. Ooh, so you could be dealing with an Aquarius or you could have Aquarius in your chart. So um, going forward, um, you're being advised to have emotional balance because we have two cups here. She has one cup here in her hand and another. And then the temperance card has a cup, two cups in, their hand, in his hands, okay? So it's a call for you to just um, have an optimistic outlook you know, moving forward, um, understand that you are here for a reason, despite everything that you have gone through, despite the tragedies you have experienced. Um, also, going back to the cups here is the emotion. So do your best to have emotional balance, okay? And she's naked because she's vulnerable. So don't be afraid to be vulnerable, okay? It doesn't mean um, when you become vulnerable that pe you allow people to mistreat you no but do your best to be vulnerable you know be real with yourself bear your skin you know bear your bear your all okay um, especially when it comes to getting to know other people so if you're trying to um, establish a relationship with someone but yet you still have these blocks here um, you know this hurt this um, this these memories you know uh, it can really get in the way of you finding the love that you want okay so it's really a call for you to be vulnerable okay you can be vulnerable you can let people get to know you but you don't have to um let them disrespect you okay so it's really all about having those healthy boundaries you know these are healthy boundaries here okay so uh, but be vulnerable don't be afraid to be vulnerable okay um i also see that some of you may have a lot of dogs here because it's a lot of dogs so um oh that's so funny so yeah you guys could you guys could have a lot of dogs all right then they probably bring you a lot of joy but stay optimistic okay going forward and also understand that you are sexy you're a sexy thing i want to say sexy bitch but there's men and women that probably there's, there's men that probably watch this too so um you are desirable this is the nine of pentacles so you could have venus and um virgo okay so um this is just really representing that you need to do your best to get out in nature um and do what makes you feel like like you're in your element do what makes you happy okay um you also going to be um doing financially well as also i see here that some of you may have your own business okay so um, if you have some concerns surrounding, you know, business or anything like that, uh, be optimistic. Stay optimistic because um, you're definitely going to be fine, okay? Uh, that's for some of you who own their own business. Um, but yeah, um, just do your best to, you know, get outside in nature and understand that you are beautiful. You know, you are a beautiful person. You are a beautiful soul. And then we have the Wheel of Fortune. So this is the Jupiter card. So you could be dealing with the Sagittarius. Okay. So there's definitely fortune coming your way. Okay. Or you guys are moving towards fortune. You're moving towards expansion of the mind, body, and spirit. Also, um... Uh, financially as well okay so um, this is really amazing really really amazing and it also talks about karmic cycles as well so just understand that um, you know despite what you go through 
okay it's, it's it's really not the end of the world we are here to learn the lessons okay and that's what jupiter is all about jupiter is about you know wisdom and expansion and just also learn the lessons all as well okay and they also call it like a lucky planet as well you know as far as the finances and abundance too but um also um be aware uh, of karmic cycles so if you do have any type of karmic cycles that you continuously um participate in like for instance if you have um a, a karmic pattern you know with um being self-sabotaging or being aggressive or whatever the case may be it's a call for you to really take a look at that and remove what no longer serves you okay um what else am i seeing here well i see a baby here as well this woman's holding a baby okay um also if you are concerned about a child um i feel like your child's gonna be okay you know i because she's holding a baby here okay it's like she's nursing it back to health so your your child may um not be feeling well okay but this is like a cycle so it's 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 going to be okay um Or this actually, <laughs> this could also mean giving birth as well. Okay, it's like she's on bed rest. All right, so last card here. Um, I think I see anything else? These are really lucky cards, though. I mean, you guys are really moving towards um, some type of abundance. I mean, it's it's really good. Okay, this. I mean, these are really lucky cards. Now that I look closely at it. Okay. Last card is clarity. Woo, clarity. Okay, clarity. Banish the fog of illusion. Open your eyes to the truth. Remember the perfection of who you are. I love that, okay? So it's all about that clarity, okay? Sometimes when our emotions get the best of us, our mind becomes foggy. We can't see straight. <laughs> we can't make um, dis rational decisions. Everything just goes to hell, you know, especially if we are upset, you know, then we can become very confrontational and chaotic. OK, so it's a cloud of really, um, you know, banish the fog of illusion and um, choose clarity, choose balance. OK. Okay, so this is going to be the end of your reading, Scorpio. I hope you guys liked it. If you um, would like a reading with me, feel free to send me an email. I will put it in the description box below. And I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of the month. And God bless.